Hey guys, so I'm back doing another street food for you guys today and this is actually really really popular for Diwali and as Diwali is coming up in a few weeks I thought I'd do this video for y'all. This is called Sahina and it's made with dashing bush leaves or spinach leaves also called taro leaves here in the US. So I'm gonna do two parts to this video. The first part, this one is gonna be made with the dashing bush leaves chopped up and put into a paste and the second one is gonna be the dashing bush leaves rolled and then cut and fried so I wanted to do these two videos for you guys because a lot of people um, have their own preferences so I wanted to um, please everybody so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this simple sahina it's a Trini street food and it's very very popular in Trinidad. Um, you can find it selling um, on the streets um, in a lot of places and it's served with like chutneys or sauces and today I'm going to make mine with mango chutney and I'll link that recipe below to the mango chutney and if it's not linked below then I haven't uploaded it as yet so you just, you'll just have to wait for that for a while. And I'll also link um, the next video for the rolled up sahina below. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it and stay tuned. So to start off, you're going to need about 8 leaves of dashing bush or baji, we call, as we call it in Trinidad. Or taro leaves as it is called in America. This is not common. You can't find this in a lot of places in the US. But I, I live in a West Indian area, so I get a lot of these, but you would typically use the young leaves, which are softer, much easier to cook. Um, but I got the big leaves. Even though they look small, they're still hard. Like if you cook this, it would take a long time to get soft. So this is all I got. Um, so I, I'm using this. And what I'm going to do, I have them soaking in some water here. So what you want to do is just wash them properly. And we're gonna chop them really finely. I'll show you how I do that. So, those are the leaves. I have two cups of flour. I have one cup of split pea powder or dal powder. If you can't find this, I suggest you use maybe um, besan or chickpea flour. I have one lime that I'm going to use to wash the leaves with. This is not optional. If you don't use this, the leaves are going to itch your tongue. So you want to wash the leaves out properly. I have some yeast. I'm going to be using about two teaspoons of this. I have a half a tablespoon of white sugar. This is to activate the yeast. I have one teaspoon of ground cumin or jeera. I have a half a teaspoon of turmeric or saffron as we call it in Trinidad. I have half a cup of green seasoning. The recipe for this will be linked below. I have some salt and some water to mix the dough. So you'll need water depending on the humidity of where you live and also depending on the texture of the dough. I'll show you how the dough looks and you'll need enough water to make it into that dough. So let's get started. So to start off you're gonna hold a few leaves together. I forgot to tell you, you probably noticed already but these come with stems and I just cut the stems off. We don't use that for this. So I just discarded these stems. So I'm just gonna hold these together and just chop it finely. Are you seeing how fine that is? So I'm just gonna chop all. This is good. 
I'm going to place it back into my bowl with water. Now you want to grab another bunch. Now, I'm gonna wash it out with the lime. So let me just squeeze the lime in here one time. So I have this little juicer here. So we're using the lime to get all that rind out of the bhaji or the spinach this lime is kind of hard okay so now i'm gonna wash this out very well let that lime take all the rind out of that spinach and i'm gonna wash it about three to four times and I'm gonna squeeze it well to get all the water out and I'll start mixing the batter for the sahinas. So I've washed my spinach or bhaji. Now I'm gonna start adding my ingredients. First I'm gonna add the split pea powder. So you just wanna mix it in. I forgot to mention earlier, really, I think I didn't show you all that we need baking powder as well for the um, mix. So now I'm going to add the jeera or the cumin, the turmeric or the saffron. I am going to just mix that in with my hands. And in my flour now, I'm going to add the sugar, the two teaspoons of yeast, and I'm going to add about three quarter tablespoons of bacon powder. So I mixed everything in my bowl here, my yeast, sugar, bacon powder. So everything is mixed, everything is mixed in there now. I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of salt. now I'm slowly going to add the flour mixture here along with some water. Now I'm going to add my green seasoning mixture in here. And if you can't tolerate pepper on your hands, then I suggest you use gloves for this. But I think I've become so used to it now that it doesn't affect me at all. So this is a good consistency. I used one cup of water alone. So that wasn't bad. So what we're going to do is leave this to rise. And then we'll form it into 
little cockies. We're gonna do them like this and drop them into the pan to fry. So just make sure it's mixed well and I'll come back and show you guys how much it dries. So it's been about an hour later and the dough hasn't risen much but it's like halfway. It's not as, it doesn't rise as much as polori does. So I have about two and a half cups of oil heating up in my pan and you want to put that on low to medium heat. You don't want the heat to be too high because you want the spinach to cook while it's frying. So what you want to do is have a bowl with some water on the side to dip your hand in um, as you form the sahinas to fry. So just keep that on the side. And I'm waiting for this oil to heat up and I'll leave it for about 5 minutes and then I'll test it and then we'll start frying. So my pan looks hot. The oil looks really hot now. I haven't tested it yet. But on at the side I have a plate lined with some paper towels and a strainer to collect the sahinas when it's done frying. So I'm gonna dip my hand in some water and test the batter just to see if it's ready. So it's ready now. See how it's bubbling up? That's how you'll know it's ready. So you're gonna take, depending on the size of the sahinas you want, take that much batter. I'm doing mine like this size, so I'm just going to slide it into the oil. And this small pot is just going to hold like about three. But I'm not making a lot of sahinas. I'm going to freeze the rest of the batter. When you're doing this, be careful that your hand touches the oil. If you're scared of that, you can also use a spoon or something. Or like an ice cream scoop if you want. So just leave these to fry for like 3 to 4 minutes. And it'll start coming more to the top when it's fried so you see how it's expanding that's the bacon powder and the yeast you don't want to play up with it too much so that it breaks I'm just trying to turn it So it's been frying for like five to seven minutes now and you want that nice brown color on the outside. So I just flipped it and I'm just going to leave it to cook for like a minute on the next side because the next side is still a bit yellowish. So I think they're ready to come out the oil. So I'm just gonna take them out. I would leave them here for about 30 seconds to drain out all the oil. And then you want to put them onto your lined um, plate with paper towels. I'm just gonna make a few more and then I'll show you all the finished product.
so this is the finished product guys I just did um six I had one while the rest were cooking and I just took a bite of this one I put some chutney in the middle some mango chutney mm -hmm. it's so crispy and nice and it tastes amazing so I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for more